Well, hello there. How are you doing? How's life? Okay, Gapsis, I'm going to stop being childish. Hey, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today, I am doing a vlog. Um, it's been a while since I posted a vlog on my channel, and I think we need some catch-up time, just everyday chill-out time. Um, it is Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm going to try and post this up by Wednesday. And what I wanted to put in this video is basically all the little things that I do that sort of like are like life hacks for me and these are things that I do just to maintain the household like everyday life hack things that I do so um, I will post them in this video so all along I think I'll post like three at the most because my life does not need that much hacking because it's so simple but yeah I am off to the shops right now I have um, I'm not gonna take you guys there because what if someone touches you what if corona lands somewhere on this camera and it's just a mess but um, I'm not going to take you guys with me but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do I need to get a few groceries just like a few veggies because I'm out of veggies in the house and I've noticed that I've been snacking a lot because I don't have any veggies because the food that I've been eating has basically got very low nutritional value even though it was high in calories and I've picked up a little bit of weight so I need to do that I need to go to the hardware shop because my thing for my I must actually pack it let me show you guys oh by the way I got a bookshelf that sits over there love it so that looks really nice we still don't have a coffee table <laughs> So let me show you guys what I broke. Mm -hmm. So, um, actually I need to put you like that because of lighting. So on my, so this is where I put my camera on my tripod. And so this is fine. So you sort of like put the camera on there and then on the tripod there's a clicky thing so you slide this in and then you use this lever to sort of click it in so that it doesn't fall off and this thing is broken so i need to actually go and get a spanner that can let me see if i can show you guys oh i don't actually know where it broke but you know life Approximately an hour later, so look, this is my weights. I'm gonna go to the shops with these weights, and I think they're like a kilogram of weight, yeah, or 500 grams, maybe a kilo. I'm not sure. For us, none exercises. I wear these around the house, and um, yeah, it's been helping me get my legs toned. I haven't been going out and I love my ASICs. They really are my everyday shoe. So, weights on legs. another hack that I do this one specifically is around faking um, compost because I live in a flat I can't make a compost heap 
and things like that so what i do is I actually haven't seen it right here if it looks gross i'm sorry what i do is i take all my peels so you'll see oranges bananas and stuff and i do this generally like today is um, i normally water my plants on monday but today is tuesday i didn't water them yesterday because i actually watered them over the weekend they were looking a bit dry so um so on friday i'll start basically like vegetable peels i normally don't use like meat things but like vegetable peels you know if you're cooking veg or you're making rice and you know that water that you rinse out from the rice i would add it in here but i haven't made any rice so in here it's mostly fruit and veg that i throw in here and then i put water and basically i'm trying to extract all the all the nutrients from the fruit and the veg and then i'll use this water to water my plants and i use like either a two liter milk thing or you know whatever i have on hand what it looks like it's just it's a bit murky but it's not like hectic and the reason why i also use fruit is because it doesn't smell that much you know you know and there we go actually need I'm gonna double check the tripod and then I will see if it needs it it doesn't otherwise I just need groceries and I need body moisturizer and that's it that's all I'm gonna need to do I've just come back from grocery shopping and my groceries are waiting for me over there and um, you guys know that we're supposed to be wiping down our groceries and all of that stuff well they still arguments about whether that is necessary or not but i personally am still of the let us um wipe down and stuff but uh disinfectant wipes you know the way that you see them in american tv i've never seen them i don't know maybe they are but i've never seen them in my life but i like to make my own and how i make those is i bought this packet of um, baby wipes from clicks they were on sale they were 59 59 rand for all three and there's three packets in here and each packet is 80 wipes so i don't really care about which wipes i am using i have a my packet of baby wipes i have some water i have a container i have a teaspoon and i have bleach jick no name thin bleach pot for puri i think i got this from pick and pay okay so i use about um i watched a video i think they said one full tablespoon to about half a cup of water um so i that's kind of what i am measuring it's not always correct obviously because i'm eyeballing it and um yeah so and i use two spoons because
in. Now, when I pour it, I hold the tab just to pick it up so that it's not lying flat against the wipes. And I pour it into the center. And then I also pour so that it goes down. So as you can see, I'm sort of tilting the wipes. So the side. important but if you live with somebody then it is always a good thing to make some sort of mark to show that this is um, disinfectant so that they know that these wipes can't be used on the face and all of that stuff so we're gonna make like little car seats and your baby bum <laughs> I swear to god you guys today I feel pregnant Woo you guys will be like, Gabby, enough of the pictures. I will literally be posting, I'll be posting belly shots every day. Like you'll be like, it looks the same like yesterday's belly. I'll be like, ah, it's different. <laughs> so I made like little things on it just to show that, um, so you see. To the to the plate rotating and the linen rotating I do it opposite so for the plates I always put the newly washed plates underneath so you'll see me I'm lifting up the already the place that were already in the cupboard and then I put the new place that I've just washed or used the day before underneath so that I'm always using um, so that the plates are always rotating because I live alone I could end up just using the the top two plates only ever and then the, they will wear and tear and then the rest of the plates won't and I don't want them to get old differently I want them to get old evenly so that's why I do it like that with my cutlery but with my linen I actually do it the opposite round so new linen that I've just washed I will put on top but when I'm taking out linen to use I take out from the bottom and I just find it easier. For me, it's how it feels like when I want to use it. So for example, with the plates, it's much harder to be picking up plates and pulling one out when you want to like dish up and things like that, because you're tired. It's usually by the end of the day and you know, you just want easy access or in the morning when you're waking up and you're making breakfast, you just want easy access. You don't want to be working, you know? Whereas when you're cleaning and you are making the bed and things like that it's not such a big deal to just pick up the linen on top and then pull it out and then also what I do is I put old perfume bottles which you saw in there um, in the linen cupboard just so that it smells extra nice because usually you know you don't really finish 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 the perfume there's always a little bit left so I throw those in there until all the perfume is used up and then when I have the next bottle of perfume that's not done I take that bottle and I put it in there and then I take out the ones that have dried up that are in there it keeps the linen cupboard smelling really nice but very subtle like you can't smell it because you're not spraying it in there it's just this subtle 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 smell which I really enjoy
see now I have a tripod again oh I'm so happy why I thought I needed a spanner which was like stressing me out because I hadn't seen that at the top it was a star and I did have the spanner but when I realized earlier I was like yes 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 <laughs> I'm so happy I fixed it Whew. by the way this game tripod I bought it like or five years ago for like three four hundred rand max and it's been going strong it's called a voyager t400 really it's the shiz 